Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to showcase the capabilities of on foreign insert transform script. Before moving on to the implementation part, let me just give you a small overview of what foreign insert is all about. So on foreign insert transform script refers to uh, in a transform map specifically, whenever you are creating a record in a table, which is not your target table, but a table which is referenced by your target table. So let me just uh, show you how this works. So for example, if I am importing data into my user table, so my target table in that case is my user table. But if I talk about a particular reference field on this user table, for example, department. So department is a field which is referencing some other table that is cmn underscore department table so in this case if a record is getting inserted into cmn underscore department table while an import ran to import data into the user table then it would be called a foreign insert because it is not directly inserting into the target table but inserting into a reference table as well so if we want to update anything on this particular table while data is getting inserted into it and inserted into the target table then we use on foreign insert scripts so what all i can do with this script is for example if i want to update let's say a particular field of any of the department for example if let's say this department is newly created so based on the import which is running to import data into the user table only the value of the field which we specify in the import will be updated using that but if we want to update any other field for that we will have to use script or we will have to use the on foreign insert scripts so i think that would be more clear once we take a look at the implementation so let's jump on to that So I have already registered an event which I'm going to use ahead in my scripts. So this is the event name which I created today. So let me just copy this and I'm going to head directly to the transform map which was created to load user data. load users is the name of the transform map which I created earlier today and this is the transform map where I'm just importing five fields for the user table target table is user and for department field map Whatever is the name of department coming into the imported data, I am populating in the name field of the department table. So now I'm going to head back to the transform scripts tab and I will click on new. Let's change when to on file insert. And whenever we are importing data into a particular table, there can be multiple fields which are reference fields. So in that case, you might want to do different different things for every other reference field. In that case, it is a recommended approach to always specify the name of the field for which you are planning to run this script. So I'm going to mention department over here and this is the place I am going to trigger my event So the second parameter would be action. 
so so action has two values either insert or update which specifies whether the record is getting inserted or updated next parameter is value which specifies the value which is coming in in the foreign table that is the reference table and this is also the first parameter of this event and the fourth parameter this of this function of this api and which is also the second parameter of the event uh, we'll see how this works and we can also plan to make it dynamic but for now let's just proceed with the hard coded value which i have not hard coded yet but i'm going to show it to you moving forward so let's just save this event great and once this event is triggered i want to run a script in which i'm going to write in a script action let's click on new and since it starts with you i'm just going to head towards the bottom of the list update department So this is the function I'm going to call next. Now the reason I'm creating this function is let's assume a use case over here. So whenever a user data is imported, if the department does not exist in department table, a new department will be created. I also want to update the ID field for that department. So I can do that using this script, which I'm going to write right now, which is otherwise not possible directly because my target table is user table, not my department table. All right then. I'm going to add a query and I will be looking for the department name which just got inserted. So the field name is name. This is the name field. And I'm going to look for the value which I passed as the first parameter of the event. So I can access that using event dot um, one and let's just use two string. If that value exists, I'm going to find it and update the ID for that record. <laughs> so what next dot id equals to i'm going to give a random value to the id Just, okay so this is the hard coded value which i was just talking about a couple of minutes back Now let me just save this script. And I'm just going to load some data into the user table and let's see how it goes. And I have already created an Excel sheet with some data. Username is Bruce Wayne and the department is Batman. So ID we are not using as of now, we'll see how we can use it. Let's have to load data. Hmm. 
this is my existing table open submit transform transformation completed so this is the user and it is created this is the department and to my surprise it looks like the id has not updated <clears throat> That's strange, so let's go back and see if there's an issue with the script. It should not be the case. Update department. Okay, so this active field is not checked. Now let me save this record again. And I'm going to delete the existing data which was just created so that we can run it again. Go to load data, load the data again. FYI, I have already deleted the data which we loaded. So I'm going to use the same file again without making any changes. Submit. Run transform and I'm going to transform it now. There is one insert. Come on. All right. So if I refresh the list again, user is created, department is created. And ID is also updated in the same department. <clears throat> so we just saw how we can use on foreign insert script to date additional values on the reference record. Now I also talked about how we can make updation of the remaining fields dynamic. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm just going to do for the same field again, removing the hard coded value and passing in the value from my foil insert script itself. And you can obviously try for yourself how it works with multiple fields. So I am going to navigate back to my transform map because that's where I can access the on foil insert script, which I created for node users transform map so this is where i'm going to pass a value for my id field and since i'm already getting the id as i've already shown you in this excel sheet so i'm already getting the id as part of the data which is getting imported so I can simply use source dot q underscore id and let's convert it into string and if you want to pass multiple fields you can also do that by cascading the data into one single variable and then passing it over here let me just save it and i'm going to navigate back again to my script action which will be executed when this event is fired update department is the one and this is the place where I am updating the ID. 
let me remove the hard coded value and I can simply use the parameter 2 like I use the parameter 1 okay and that's it so now I have made it dynamic and the value will be again populated on the ID field let me change the data and let's see this time it is Petsy So I have saved this data. Now I'm going to load it back again in my user table. Come on, come on. So this is executed. I'm going to go for the Etsy way user. And if I check for the department, so department ID is again executed. And this time it's not a hard coded value, but a value which was imported as part of the user data. So this is how we can use on foil insert script to update values on the reference record. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Have a good rest of the day.